Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Talks advancing as a Champions League club pursue Man United star for only £500,000. La Liga side Girona are in advanced talks to sign Man United player Donny van de Beek as the Dutch midfielder is not part of Eric Ten Hag's plans ahead of the 24-25 campaign. The 27-year-old is out of contract at Old Trafford in 2025 and the summer would be the ideal time for the Manchester club to part ways with the player as the Premier League outfit seek a transfer fee for the unwanted star. Sources have told Cout of Side that Girona are in advanced talks to sign Van de Beek during the current transfer window with the La Liga club willing to pay Man United just £500,000 to sign the Man United star. The 27-year-old will be offered a two-year deal with the option of a further year should things go well for the Dutch star in Spain as the Catalan club look to strengthen their squad ahead of their first season in the Champions League. Van de Beek has previously been offered to Fulham, Everton, Lazio, Ajax and Real Betis. However, none of the clubs were interested in signing the Man United star on a permanent deal. Van de Beek has been at Man United since making the £39 million switch from Ajax back in 2020. However, the transfer has not worked out for the club and the player. The Dutch star failed to cement a starting spot at Old Trafford throughout his four years with the Premier League Giants and has only featured in 62 matches for the Red Devils. The 27-year-old has also been on loan twice with Everton during the 21-22 campaign and Eintracht Frankfurt last season, but clubs were not willing to take the midfielder on permanently and now Girona are the team looking to take advantage of his situation at Old Trafford. Van de Beek's next the club is very important for the Dutch star's career as the player needs to find a home where he can start enjoying his football again. Newcastle United considering move for 27-year-old Man United man. Newcastle United are actively looking at options in the transfer market to improve their squad and increase the quality and the depth of their pool of players. Eddie Howe and the McPies management have a busy summer ahead of them as they plan to sort out the issues their squad faced last season. The Toon Army are looking to make additions to all positions in their squad. They have already signed Cali to improve the quality of their defence, but they need a lot more to replicate their successful season of 22-23 when they qualified for the Champions League and reached the Carabao Cup final. According to Manchester Ward, Newcastle are eyeing a move for the Manchester United midfielder Scott McTominay. The Scotland international could be heading to the exit door at Old Trafford with only one year remaining in his contract. The Red Devils could look to cash in on him and the player might consider a move away. McTominay was used as a substitute on most occasions last season and he still contributed goals from the bench and saved Man United on a number of occasions. The midfielder was close to joining West Ham United last summer to replace Declan Rice at the London Stadium. However, the move did not materialize in the end and he stayed with the Red Devils. If there is no guarantee to start next season under Eric Ten Hag, then McTominay has to leave the club for better opportunities elsewhere. He is about to reach the peak years of his career and for that he needs to play every week. The Magpies face competition from rival Premier League clubs in the race to sign him with Fulham, Southampton and West Ham all considering a move for the 27-year-old. As per the report, Fulham are leading the race to sign him, so Newcastle have a lot of work to do if they are serious about getting this deal done. European giants make move for Man United outcast to end his Premier League stay. According to reports, Juventus have made the first offer for Manchester United's winger Jadon Sancho in preparation for a summer transfer. 
Sancho helped Borussia Dortmund reach the Champions League final by spending the second half of the previous season there on loan while he restored his career. It seems doubtful that the 24-year-old would stay at Old Trafford as prospective suitors are lined up to sign him permanently. As per Toto Sport, Juventus have been interested in Sancho all summer long and have decided to be patient in their attempt to recruit the Englishman. They have been interested in the England international for some weeks, but there were worries that the cost would be too high. In 21 appearances last season, he scored three goals and provided three assists for Borussia Dortmund. The 24-year-old can play in a number of wide attacking situations. His future lies away from Old Trafford, with Man United willing to cash in on him and raise money from his sale to use on their transfer business this summer. Man United have decided to keep Eric Ten Hag at the club and his relationship with Sancho has completely broken down following their public feud last year. A move away from Old Trafford is what his career needs right now as the player did not seem to enjoy his football at the Premier League club while at Dortmund. He looked like a completely different player. It remains to be seen if he leaves the club permanently or on loan this summer. The Red Devils are looking for a permanent solution of the Sancho problem following his failed move from Borussia Dortmund back in 2021. The young winger's career has regressed in recent years and from being an England international, he has gone miles away from the England squad now. 15 million euros rated midfielder wants to play for Man United next season. Manchester United signed Sofiane Amrabat on loan last season, but the midfielder failed to live up to the expectations at Old Trafford. The 27-year-old had an underwhelming spell on loan at the Premier League club, and he has returned to his parent club Fiorentina now. The Red Devils had an option to sign in permanently this summer, but they have chosen not to exercise it. However, a report from Correr dello Sport claims that the 27-year-old Moroccan international dreams of a return to Manchester United this summer. The midfielder shares an amicable relationship with Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United's decision to continue with the Dutch manager has given him hope of a return to Old Trafford. Fiorentina reportedly won 15 million euros for the midfielder and it remains to be seen whether Manchester United decide to sign him. They could certainly use more quality and depth in the middle of the park and the Moroccan international could be a useful squad player. His performances were underwhelming in the Premier League last season, but he has previously shown his quality in Serie A and during the 2022 World Cup with his country. He could be a vital member of the Manchester United squad if he manages to recapture his confidence and form. Manchester United certainly have the financial resources to pay the 15 million euros asking the price for him, and it remains to be seen how the situation develops. He will add defensive cover, work rate, and drive to the Manchester United midfield. The Red Devils could certainly use some physicality and defensive steel in the middle of the park, and Mrabat would be the ideal acquisition for them if he can get to his best. The reported asking the price seems quite reasonable for a player of his quality, and he should be able to justify the investment in the coming seasons. Eric Ten Hag speaks to 40 million euros a striker as Man United continue internal discussions. Man United manager Eric Ten Hag has spoken to Bologna striker Joshua Zergzi several times in recent weeks as the Premier League giants continue to contemplate a move for the 23-year-old ahead of the 24-25 season. The Manchester club have been interested in the Netherlands international since before the summer transfer window opened as Ten Hag is keen to add a new number 9 to his squad in order to support Rasmus Hoyland. According to Fabrizio Romano, Man United have held new talks with Zergzi's agent to discuss contract terms, his salary and commissions. The Manchester club are also discussing the striker internally and how they want to proceed with the deal 
as the 23-year-old has a 40 million euros release clause in his Bologna contract, which expires in August. Ten Hag seems keen on the player as the Dutch coach has spoken to Zergzi on the phone several times in recent weeks. Zergzi is coming off the back of a very impressive season in Serie A and as a result, Man United are not the only club interested in the Bologna striker. Arsenal have also kept an eye on Zergzi's situation at Bologna, while AC Milan have made moves for the 23-year-old during the current transfer window, reports Sky Sports. There have been a lot of rumors regarding the Dutch star's future, but it seems that Man United are the club most ready to submit an official proposal to Bologna for the striker once their internal discussions have concluded. The signing of Zergzi could be a great deal for the Manchester club, as the player is young, is relatively cheap, and is coming off the back of the season where he produced 19 goal contributions across 37 matches. It remains to be seen if Arsenal get more involved as Mikel Arteta continues to search for a striker ahead of the new campaign getting underway. Fabrizio Romano confirms expansive Premier League player is open to Man United move. Manchester United are looking to sign in new players this summer and they are particularly focusing on signing a new defender and a striker. Following the departure of Rafael Varane and Anthony Martial from the club this summer, they are considering signing two players in those positions. A number of players have been shortlisted by the Red Devils to strengthen their defense. They have been linked with moves for Bayern Munich defender Matthias De Ligt, Lille defender Lenny Yoro, Juventus centre-back Leison Bremer, and Everton's Gerard Branthwaite. Transfer specialist Fabrizio Romano has now revealed that Branthwaite is open to joining Man United this summer. Romano confirmed the update on a playback. He said the following, Let me tell you something again about the situation of a Jared Branthwaite, because we said about De Ligt, but Branthwaite remains a name on the list of Manchester United. For Man United, the Branthwaite case is quite clear. They like the player. They keep appreciating the player. The player is open to joining Manchester United, no issue on personal terms, but it depends on Everton. Man United won the player, and the player wants to join them, but Everton's asking the price is making the deal difficult. The young defender impressed in his breakthrough season in 23-24 and helped Everton avoid relegation after a serious crisis at the club that saw them get their points deducted. As reported by Sky Sports, Everton are demanding more than £70 million for their centre-back, having already rejected a bid from Man United for £35 million plus add-ons. The young English centre-back has a bright future, and sooner or later, he will be signed by a bigger club. His price tag seems high at the moment, but in a few years' time, it could prove to be a bargain considering how the transfer market is operating right now with the clubs demanding high prices for their players. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.